Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler. And today we're going to continue to talk about some of the most missed types of math problems on the GED subtest. So let's get started. Today we're going to focus a little more on real life problems or word problems. This first example says, John deposited $400 into his account at a rate of 3.5%. How much interest did he earn after six years? So this is a problem that asks about interest. There's a formula for finding that, um, and the formula is this. I, which is interest, equals P R T. P represents the principal amount of money that you're starting to deposit. R is always the rate, which is your, your percentage. And then T is the time. It's how many years did you deposit your money. So I'm going to fill in this information into my formula. I'm going to multiply it out and see what I get. So I equals $400 is what I put into the account. It's the principal. The rate is 0.035. Rate will always be given to you as a percentage, but you need to turn it into a decimal. And remember, to turn a percent to a decimal, you just move the decimal point to the left twice. So instead of 3.5, we have 0.035. And then T is time. Time is always measured in years for these types of examples. So if you're given months or something like that, you need to figure out how many years that is. All right, now I know this. I can just multiply it out, type it in the calculator, and I will get my interest. So 400 times 0 0.035 times 6 is going to get you 84. So my interest on depositing $400 for six years at 3.5% is going to be $84. And usually when you see interest problems, the amount of interest that you earn is typically not a whole lot. So if you get lower numbers, don't be afraid to think that is incorrect. All right, let's try one more example. This one is another real life type example, but it has to do with discounted prices. It says there's an item in a store that was originally priced at $48.75, but it is on sale for $18.53 for a limited time. How much of a discount do you receive if you purchase the item at the lower price? So whenever I see problems that involve one price dropping to another or one, pre one price increasing to another, I immediately think percent of change. Discounts are always done in percents. It's like when you go to a store and you have sales, uh, things like that. And like most things in math, there's a formula for finding the percent of change. I always think of it as no over O. N is the new price, O is the original price, and then O again is the original price. So <clears throat> I'm going to fill in the information that I have, and I'm going to use that in this formula to figure out the discount that I need. So my new price is $18.53. My original price is $48.75. And my original price goes on the bottom again, $48.75. So what I would have to do is type this into a calculator. Up on the top, I get 30.22, negative, and I'll explain why it's negative in a second. And on the bottom, I leave it the same. Now I have a fraction. This fraction, I can type into a calculator, and it turns it into a decimal. The decimal, we can then turn into a percent, which is our discount. So Ooh. If you type this in your calculator, you're going to get um, negative 0 0.62. Negative 0 0.62, I can turn it to a percent by just moving the decimal point to the right twice. The reason why it's negative is because your price went down. So it decreased in value, so to speak. 
that sign doesn't really make a difference in your answer because you're just looking for the amount of discount you received, which is the percentage. In this case, my percent is 62. So if I buy this item for $18.53, it's a 62% discount from its original price. So when you get to these types of problems, word problems specifically, or real life examples, I hope that this will make it a little easier for you. Take all the information that you have, take the numbers, see if there's a formula for you to use on that reference sheet, plug in the information you have, and go from there. Thanks. Add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.